begin today, I uh, just wanted to just uh, make mention of a couple uh, couple members of our uh, chorus that uh, did not make the uh, program, and my apologies for that, but I want to make sure that they're recognized for their efforts as well. In addition to who is on the program today, uh, we also have joining us in the tenor section, Stephen Teague Jerry, and Jerry Bolton. In the alto section, Barbara Bain and Alyssa Zlotnicki. In the bass section, Bill Hennessy. And in the soprano section, Nancy Turnbull. So uh, we hope that you enjoy our endeavor today.
Gott hier. Of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, shall be exalted, shall be exalted, shall be exalted. The 
crooked straight, the crooked straight, and the rough places plain, and the rough places plain, and the rough places plain.
Lord of hosts. Yet once a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land, and I will shake, and I will shake all nations. I'll shake the heavens, the earth, the sea, the dry land, all nations. I'll shake and the desire of all nations shall come. The Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. In the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts.
Before we perform our final number, I uh, just would like to thank you all uh, for coming out today and supporting this grand endeavor. Uh, about two years ago, uh, Pastor Little came and saw, uh, saw Jody Hoover, who is the producer of Messiah back in 2013, and myself, about doing this performance here. And, and this is just such a grand space. And, and if you haven't gotten a chance, turn around, look back there. It just this huge dome, I mean, the architecture in this building alone is reason to come and sing. And we have such, so many great churches in our area. And when, when Pastor Little asked us to come and perform here, we immediately jumped on it. Um, and, and what a wonderful way for Franklin Civic Operetta to give back to the community. Obviously, many of you know we performed Friday night over at the theater with our, hand, uh, with our Messiah and holiday favorites. And, and this is just, and we, and we always sort of talk about this, you know, we really wish we just had one more performance of this piece. And, um, and with, with Pastor Little, uh, we've been able to do that the past two times we've done this. So, so thank you for coming and thank you for supporting live music. Thank you for supporting the singers up here in the orchestra. Uh, haven't, they, haven't they been fabulous? Today's proceeds, um, we, we are not, there's no cut of the gate or anything of that. This is all, all of the uh, donations that are, that are taken up after, to, after this afternoon's performance are going to go towards the Central Help Fund. And if you don't know what that is, having served on the vestry over at St. John's a couple years ago, what it is is instead of a person in need having to go to each individual church and get a little bit here and there, um, what it allows for is one central location and not only for that, for those people that are in need to be able to receive what they need, but also to help counsel them and help direct them to services that can hopefully lead them out of poverty. You know, you know, and, and most of you know, we, we unfortunately have a lot of that in our community. And the more we can help the, those endeavors, the better off our community is going to be. So, and this is, and it's very fitting that Mr. Handel's Messiah is this vehicle because Handel after writing this piece, did multitudes of charity performances. Um, I was just watching a documentary again a couple nights ago called Handel and the Foundling Hospitals. Um, what Handel used to do was he would do these benefit concerts of the Messiah for these foundling hospitals. And what foundling hospitals were, for those of you who don't know, was young mothers who were unwed or were unable to take care, or families that were unable to take care of their children would drop them off at these foundling hospitals and they would be taken care of medically, given food, and, and hopefully found good families. So, you know, Handel was very much a supporter of that. So how wonderful it is that we can turn around as the, as the Franklin Civic Operetta Association, as well as through the efforts of First Methodist, to be able to turn around and be able to do that for the members of our community. So, so we hope you'll support that as you leave today. Um, also enjoy the goodies in the back. You know, one of the things that, that you learn as a, as a choir director or a band director, have food, we'll travel. And, um, and so, so we ask that you join us for some fellowship afterwards as well. We'll be around and, and uh, enjoy, enjoy this time together. So um, we're going to finish off uh, with uh, Handel's Hallelujah Chorus. And the tradition for this was uh, when King George III heard this piece, um, and actually I was just watching another documentary last night, Handel was made a natural born, or was made a citizen of Great Britain by King George I, so, first of all because he was very famous, but also because he wanted him to compose the coronation mu music for George II's coronation. Um, and um, so he was a very big fixture in the, in the Habsburg family. Now, um, oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to try to remember the, remember the family name. But anyway, so they were very close. And when the Hallelujah Chorus was first performed, King George stood to honor his friend Handel, as well as to honor the glory of this piece. So we're going to have you do that here in just a second. And I've... I don't know if you've been noticing, but I've been noticing a little uh, young gentleman that's been, over, that's been beside me to my right over the chorus, and he's had a pretty good sense of rhythm. What is your name, young man? What's your name? If you don't mind, inquire, if you don't mind, I'm a, you know, one of the things I like to do as a teacher is to sort of cultivate young talent, and, and how old are you, William? You are four. You are five, you are my daughter's age. And believe me, I know what five's all about. <laughs> wow, was it? That is excellent. 
Evelyn's seven years old, okay. So I'm gonna have this young gentleman join me by my side. I'm gonna give him a baton, and if, if, you, don't, if you don't mind me having him join us in the performance of the Hallelujah Chorus. Because I should say, he's a pretty good sense of rhythm. He was, you know, actually he was conducting sometimes better than I was. So, um, so William, would you like to come up and join me? I'll give you a baton and you can, you can help conduct the, conduct the orchestra in the chorus? Okay, no? <laughs> Okay, well then I'll give you one, and you, if you want to, I'll give you a stick, you can, sit for, you can sit right there, and if you want to conduct along, you're more than welcome. So, please join us in the performance of the Hallelujah Chorus. <laughs> 